Hey guys, before I get into the video, I wanted to let you know that we are partnered with Homeschool Spanish Academy. We have been taking classes through Homeschool Spanish Academy and they have been amazing. So we don't have to travel, we just go through a Google Meet. So how it works is you go onto Homeschool Spanish Academy, you go sign up for your classes and you can even pick what teacher you want. They have a whole list of teachers. I mean, and you might not want to just do one teacher, maybe you can just do multiple teachers. You can make as many classes as you would like and you just set your time, you set your day. They also send you a reminder to let you know that you have about 36 to 24 hours before your class starts. It's pretty awesome. You learn how to speak Spanish even on your first lesson you start learning right away. Also they'll ask how much Spanish you would like them to speak with you if it's 1 through 10 and I think that's pretty awesome. I like when they speak more Spanish because I feel like I can understand it more than I can speak it and if I can learn it and digest it then it's it's easier for me to learn. Good for all ages. I love it. It's really, really easy. I'm going to link them down below. Make sure you guys go check it out. Make sure you go sign up for classes because who doesn't want to know more than one language? I have friends that speak Spanish and I want to learn how to speak Spanish so I can speak fluently with them. And it's really fun. It's really easy. Make sure you go check it out. Like I said, I'll leave the links down below. And now onto the story. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys. Disney World was so much fun. Uh, Disney World was a lot of fun. Um, very interesting. There's, I just want to start off by saying we met a really amazing family our first day at Magic Kingdom. They had a cute little girl. She's about Oliver's age. It was, they were amazing. They were great. Went on a couple rides with them. I think we went on Seven Dwarfs and Haunted Mansion and then we ended up parting ways, but not before. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, I should have got their contact information. I like them so much. I, I know we have reservations around the same time. Maybe when we're leaving, we'll run into them and we'll see. Or maybe they'll think we're creepy. But I, we did run into this uh, family and they live in Michigan. We live in Indiana. I think it's probably only a few hours away from us. I don't know, but I thought it was pretty cool. We ended up exchanging numbers. There's people you run into a lot at Disney World. Like the same people over and over in a day. The, the people we really liked, we did it. We did not run into them but one time and that was at the reservations and that's only because we knew that, you know, we'll probably be there. But no, not the good couple. After we exchanged information, we're like, we're gonna go on the Peter Pan ride because it's only 20 minutes. And now with COVID going on and Disney World has different lines and you go all the way up. And so we have to go through a building and then you wrap around and then you go around to Peter Pan. So we get in line and so, uh, it was just like this guy appeared behind us. I, I didn't even know there was somebody behind us until he started talking and he was talking to his wife. Instantly, the vibe was no longer magical. And this guy starts kind of scolding his wife. Like, oh, I was in line. I didn't know that you uh, were going to go through the building to get to the end of the line. And she's, you know. Well, you know, you're not supposed to jump the you have to go through the building because of COVID and everything. And this whole time she has her daughter's line and there wasn't even, it was quieter than that. I can't even tell you the vibe. The vibe is very true crime. Like, you know, the vibe I'm talking about, like this was clearly their last attempt to save their marriage. Okay, we're gonna go to Disney and hopefully our marriage works and if not, oh well, we'll part ways. That's the kind of vibe it was. It was very clear that they were having marital problems. I feel like I can't even. All the years of their marital problems were right there just brewing. And it was really kind of creepy. They're arguing about the line, the end of the line, and how you get to the end of the line. And he's like, you know what? I'm just going to stop drinking beer. I'm going to stop drinking beer the rest of the night. Like he's really trying here to be this good person. Like, you know what? Maybe I'm drinking too much. And I mean, maybe that was part of it. Like maybe he drinks too much. And that's part of what has made their marriage go. <laughs> it's very clear that this woman, as quiet as she is, and she, you oh, you could tell he seems like maybe he's too wild and she just seems a little frigid it's obvious anything he does it will never be good enough all this we got it we we felt it we heard it we understand he's like listen i'm just trying to be the best father and husband i can be for you guys he said it with a voice like he's really trying and nothing's gonna be good enough for her but at the same time i feel like maybe he's screwed up so many times that she just doesn't give two craps anymore the whole time me and chris are just we can hear everything even though it's low enough to where not everybody can hear it we're like 
close enough to where we can hear it. It was very awkward. Very, very awkward. And I'm like, I cannot wait to get out of this line. I cannot wait to get out of this line. And so he's like, like you know what? We're just gonna stop. We're gonna stop fighting. We're just, we're done. We're gonna stop talking about this. We're done. We're not gonna fight no more. The rest of the line, which felt like an eternity. There was forced conversation between the two of them. And me and Chris are just pretend talking because at this point, we feel so awkward and weird and strange and the magic that they just sucked out of the magic kingdom thank you so we're just like trying to have a conversation but it's hard to have a conversation with true crime behind us you know while we're getting through the line it's very clear that it's forced conversation and he's talking about work and what bob did at the car sales lot or whatever and it, she doesn't care she's rolling her eyes she does she doesn't care like, all right. It was very clear the vibe was all like this was their last attempt. I'm pretty sure we'll see them on the ID channel at some point. That was the vibe. All I know is something's going to happen to where they're on the ID channel and it's going to be a true crime investigation. That's all I know. You think it would end there. We're off Peter Pan. It's nice. It's fun. We go to the Jungle Cruise. <sighs> We're in Jungle Cruise and I'm not paying attention too much. And then I glance over and I'm like, no way. <laughs> Are you kidding me? The same couple is seated right next to us. And as soon as I see them, you see the looks on their faces. The vibe is now back. Thank you for learning Magic Kingdom. And I told Chris as soon as we got off, I'm like, you're not gonna believe who is sitting right next to us. He's like, who? I'm like, it was that true crime couple. He's like, no way. I'm like, yes, they're right beside us. Here we are running into people that we don't wanna run into. <laughs> We go and do a couple things and then we go to Pirates of the Caribbean and in my Magic Kingdom video I'm filming at Pirates of the Caribbean, but I don't show them because they're in front of us. Oh my gosh They're seated right in front of us. Here they are. The vibe is back. I feel so sorry for this little girl Their mother is frigid. The husband's obviously got some wild oats he needs to sow But he's trying to be a good father and good husband. The vibe, the awkwardness it is so crazy. So here we are. We're just running into this couple left and right. Once again, where is our nice family? No, so we got to, uh... And some Magic Kingdom. The true crime vibe. I know this isn't much of a story time, but if I could tell you we were drenched in awkwardness, I felt like I was in the middle of a true crime video. All Stacy and Bob wanted was one more chance to try and work their marriage out. Who knew that it would end in death? That's how it felt. But what are the odds that we would be running into true crime every single ride? That is my story. I had posted it on Facebook and I had a few people like, uh, we need to know what's going on. Like, what's the story? Because I had said that there was a true crime couple. So that is it for this story. Hopefully I can condense this 14 minute video into a three minute video. Um, I do hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't do story times on this, but I mean, we are trying to broaden besides vlogging, even though I have a whole bunch of Disney stuff coming out. So, and we're going on vacation in a couple weeks with our kids. Thank you, Jesus, because I started crying while I was in the Magic Kingdom on the last day. So, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Bye.